Cartierians. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your monthly November. Don't look for the dailies, okay? We're trying to finish the monthly. Now, Cancerian, before we start, this will involve, okay, discussion about Vedic Sidereal, okay, astrology. I don't do Western. It says how I was born, okay? So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And I would also be focusing on, if it's about the planet talk, Sun and uh, uh, Rising and Moon, okay? Now, the Sun, Cancerians, okay, it's gonna be happening, just think of it as happening in your soul. That's why I kind of like, you know, <laughs> it's all in within, okay? And the, the, because the materializing is the ascendant and the moon, and, okay? You know what? Let's see here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We'll be discussing the planet as we move forward with the tarot. Here we go, Cancerian. Monthly's November. Here we go. You have here two of wands. Okay. Torn between two lovers. Feeling like a fool. Why? Now, who is this lovers? I love myself. Do I love them more than myself? Highlight of your <laughs> highlight right now. Okay. Until Rahu and Ketu moves out of your 1-7. Okay. So, Rahu being in Cancer. Ketu being in Capricorn in your 7. Okay. The person that you're dealing with is doing amazing in their career. Okay. And you're looking at yourself that... Hmm, that's odd. Why do they have a good career? <laughs> Not that you're jealous. It's just so odd. It's just like, what's going on with your life? <laughs> okay? And then you want to chase this person. Okay? You want to chase this person. And you're going to say, and don't tell me, like, you sell, I'm a concern. I don't chase nobody. Okay? I didn't say you will. The planet says you will. Okay? <laughs> okay? You're drawn. Okay, very karmic connection. And regardless, you're probably gonna say, 10 years of my life, I never chased no one. And then this transit comes, you start chasing, okay? It's called transit, okay? And this is the crossroads that you're having. So I really wanna know a partner, but I'm, I want a partner right now. <laughs> okay, it's your one in seven. And here's the thing too. This person, considering your, your charts and you know planets align, they feel the same with you, way with you. Mm -hmm. Other person, Ace of Coins, <laughs> Pentacles, career, right? Opportunity, blessing, dating. This is my, um, I want to date you, spend time with you card. Ace of Coins, Earth Energy, which is in your Capricorn side. Your basically seventh house, right? So it's highlighting here. Minor Arcana for the Sun card, okay? Wait. Okay. You're looking at this person as a big opportunity of your life, vice versa if you're a cross watcher. Because this person is looking at this pentacle. Engagement can be partnership. Let's see. Seven of Cups, Rahu. Mm, told you. Mm. Seven of Cups for me is your Rahu. You're realizing, okay, because you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on yourself. But the more you focus on yourself, okay, the more you don't understand yourself, okay? And it's like, what? And then that's what you had, literally. What? <laughs> and then you start feeling, wait, so am I going to be alone by myself the whole time, Sal? Am I going to grow old by myself? And you have all these things going inside your head. All these things going inside your head. Remember, okay, Cancer and Moon, okay, you're gonna look at it and like, oh my god, like Sal, what are you telling me? <laughs> it's your Rahu. Okay, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Okay, it's it's a smoke thing. You can't see through it right now. And then it's asking you, okay, to go to your partner. Okay, now your partner is controlling. Your partner tries to restrict you. Okay, so you go again to yourself. It's your K two. The universe, <laughs> the world card. Okay, how it is affecting you? Here you go, Cancer. Can be distance between the two of you. There was something that got finished. Also, this is universe is wrapping up and starting new. Saturn, Saturn in Ace in Ace of Coins over here. So, Saturn being the natural ruler of Capricorn is sitting right next to it, in your 
sixth house, because Saturn is in Sag, okay? Saturn is in Sag in your sixth house. There's this energy that this person and you have broken up. Okay, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's so true, Sal. We've broken up. And yet they linger, okay? Why? Okay? Because they're just next door. <laughs> they probably live next door. <laughs> because Saturn is in sixth house, house of losses, prevented this person from you losing them, but they're being pulled by their career because Capricorn energy. They're trying to fulfill their career, and as they fulfill their career, they stay. For some reason, they stay. Under the seven, five of coins. Okay. You feel lost with this person if they don't give you this chance. Because this person is the world to you, the universe. Under the universe card, Queen of Cups, which is you. See, look at that one. One, seven. You're their world, literally. Okay, if you think it's like, Sal, I'm the one only putting this effort to them. They're finishing their karma, okay, here. Especially if, you know, because right now they're dealing with their 12th house. They're really finishing something. They're really finishing something, okay? They're finishing, I'm not sure what they're finishing. But they're really finishing something, okay? This is what they're saying, okay? Let me see what's dividing the two of you. King of Wands. Okay, let's see what's, okay. As what's dividing you right now, okay. This is an Aries energy, okay. I feel that both needs to stand up and rise to the occasion. The King of Wands is a chaser. I'm not saying that you have to chase this person, but the draw, the pull, to chase this energy, okay, is so strong that it confuses you. Ouch, sorry. Difficult situation because five of coins over here, remember five of coins for me is like, I don't even date nobody, Sal. Fifth house in the house of romance. What's happening in your fifth right now? Who's there in the fifth, okay? In your fifth right now is Scorpio, right? If I'm not mistaken, correct? Okay. Jupiter is in Scorpio. Okay. You want to be out there to start a new life to date. But Saturn sits, sits on your six. It pulls you back to something that you have lost. To understand why you have lost them. Puts you now in K2 in the seventh. Okay. <laughs> Makes you feel like this person is holding on to me, Sal, and I really want to just date and be happy, be creative with my life, explore, da da da, do what makes me happy. But you feel like this person is the one holding on to you, and I can't let go, Sal, I, and they, they won't let me go. They always, there's always this pull between me and them, okay? Because I feel what's dividing you is the karma is not yet addressed. Here's what's happening in your fourth, which is Libra. Okay? Venus is there. Mercury is there. You need to communicate from the heart. Mercury is going to go, um, Mercury is going to go retrograde. Okay? And Venus is going to go ret uh, direct also. But, okay, I'm running low here. But I'm going to continue this reading, though, with regards to that part. As we move forward on this energy, Cancerian, I'm um, link down there in the description box how we manage through this, dealing with this person. Um, Aquarius, Taurus, Theo, Scorpio, of course. Um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys again, Cancerians. Bye, guys.